Let me show you why it's worth learning the circumpolar constellations first, because they're the ones that are in the sky all the time. Um, whether it's daylight or night time, they are there all night long, and they are there every night of the year. They just never move out. So what you can see on the screen is a green line that represents the horizon, and everything that's shaded green is below the horizon. So our sky is everything that's dark, and that is above the horizon. You can see the zenith on there, which is the point directly overhead. You can see north, south, east, and west on there, so you can get some sense of um, that this is the horizon. And most importantly, you can see a marker for north celestial pole, and that is the part of the sky that never moves. That is the, the center of the sky, if you like. That's what all the constellations um, orbit around, revolve around. And flashing on the screen is Ursa Minor, or the Little Dipper. And that is constellation that is closest to the North Celestial Pole. And wherever you are in the United States, that never sets. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to move on an hour at a time, and you'll start to see that Ursa Minor, all it does is revolve around the North Celestial Pole. It never sets. And now what I'm going to do, so that's an hour at a time. Now I'm going to change it so I move on a month at a time. You see it's August at the moment, September, October, and it still just keeps revolving around the North Celestial Pole. It never moves. And of course, what that also means is the constellations closest to the North Celestial Pole also never set. So depending where you are in the States, that, that varies. So the, the further north you are, the more constellations there are that don't set. This is set for Kansas City because it's roughly uh, middle of the United States. And if I now point you towards Ursa Major, you can see that too is circling the North Celestial Pole and I'm still going by month at the moment and although it does get very close to setting below the horizon it never actually does. So by knowing these constellations you've got a great starting point because these are the ones that will always be in your sky and use the link below to go to an article on lovethenightsky.com which shows you for your state exactly which constellations are um, always up in the sky.